Ashraf Singhal, let me start with you. That uh, is there a fundamental problem here that when the government starts to actually get into this battle with Twitter and other social media platforms, ostensibly to regulate or to filter out insightful content, there is this question of what its true intent is. Is it genuinely concerned about these aspects or does its own track record raise this question of double standards? There seems, at least appears to be in the actions taken over the past, say, five years, that it is all geared towards the government only propagating a type of propaganda and trying to take down everything else that you know that cons that that is critical critical of the government and they and and the type of action which is taken to someone who is not aligned to the ruling party especially the bjp is swift it is excessive and it is slowly by each takedown notice seems to be killing the democracy because we there is a fear and a blackmail that is happening with by and the 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 no the what is being said is and the effect of this is that don't talk or else keep quiet we don't want to hear your uh, right. your views and if it's not in line with ours then you know you suffer the consequences right Rahil, but there's also the other side to it. I mean, it's obviously hard to get people who are currently serving in Twitter to come on uh, shows on platforms like this. But since you worked from the inside, now that you're out of it, I don't know how much you can share with us both sides of this, both the fact that the government only seems to get proactive when it comes to politically uncomfortable content, and also the fact that platforms like Twitter are often end up either playing ball or do a very poor job of actually regulating hate. Uh, what's the two sides to the question, right? Like in context to what a government chooses a particular platform to keep or or take down mm. from from uh, from 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 a particular platform, right? Uh, okay. In context to in context to this, the the uh, the hashtag that's at the center of uh, the controversy, so to speak, yeah, uh, <clears throat> has been removed. Its its visibility has been uh, dimmed, mm. and some of the accounts that have tweeted the hashtag. Uh, have been taken down. Uh, the, the Twitter, before it sort of like went into a, a legal huddle, so to speak, to get advice, yeah. did comply with the order only to reverse some of that action, realizing that the order was excessive. Right. Uh, the government's positioning, of course, that you know it's it's a, it's an order from the government, so it needs to be complied with. But just because it's an order from the government doesn't necessarily make it legal. First of all, and Twitter's <clears throat> action. Yeah. Uh, reinstating, say, famously the account of Caravan, for example. Yes. Uh, and it is quite uh, incredulous that uh, an account like Caravan was suspended in the first place. That's right. Uh, is within the legal limits of options available available to Twitter within the but constitutional I, limits of India. Right. No, that's fair enough, Rahil. I guess what I'm trying to ask you is that from your own <laughs> time there, were you able, were, you know, what, what was, was all of this something that you were also privy to that you would get requests from the government that would only be targeted towards, in a sense, censoring one side. But also the fact, Rahil, that Twitter, quite apart from government requests, is on its own not very good at policing hate. What, what, so, what, what did you see from your, as an insider, how did that play out? So having a ringside view to these conversations from, from my five odd years at Twitter between 2014 to 2018, uh, look, each government tries to uh, manipulate platforms in the way that works best for them. Mm -hmm. So none of the governments that we have had, uh, so to speak, have been specially friendly to dissent. But what is interesting is uh, the transparency report that Twitter has put out in the last few quarters and the numbers have dramatically shot up. So Twitter catalogs every request that it gets from the government right. uh, for a takedown uh, or an account removal or uh, an account withholding or yes. content withholding yes. and so on and so forth. And those numbers have dramatically shot up. Right. Uh, that's one. The second is the uh, Twitter self-regulating itself or Twitter doing a better job of uh, regulating conversation on its or on its own platform. Yes. Um, and I'll say this with some amount of sort of caution that 
while a lot of work remains to be done in mm. in, in this field because uh speech is constantly evolving like hate yes. speech on platforms is constantly evolving yes. and it's a bit of a catch a mole game right yes. uh twitter has in the last few years done a fairly decent job of uh introducing pro- uh you know features on the product side that that do a better job of this and it has parallelly uh, the conversation around free speech on social platforms right has also evolved it's a moving okay. conversation okay. we okay. saw we saw in the us uh, the deplatforming of donald trump right? right like that comes at a particular moment where the conversation about free speech is is at a fairly okay, advanced stage when it comes to social platforms